everybody. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, trapping for the common man, realistic trapping. Um, how to trap under a budget. Um, not all of us can afford to run out and buy uh, two, three dozen traps at a time. Uh, I'll teach you how to, um, I guess you would say budget trap. Uh, I don't know if that would be the right word for it, but um, I'll just show you what I've acquired over the years. Um, let's see, this be my fourth or fifth year coming up on the lines, so uh, I'll show you guys what you can do to save money while doing it, as well as, um, I guess, one thing y'all need to understand, I guess, when it comes to trapping is you're not going to be a millionaire your first couple of years doing it because you're going to learn, you're going to screw up. The basic thing I could tell you is don't get your hopes up, is all I can tell you there. Um, I will give some shout outs and I'll do a pan around of the uh, man cave slash trophy room slash bedroom here. Uh, this isn't all my, this isn't all my trophies. I do have a good bit of stuff I've gotten mounted, so. Um, pan down, I'll show you some different things you guys can order from, or as well as some other tips. So, just pan the camera around here. And, okay, that'll work. Okay, now, shut this off. Alright, now, there's many ways you can save money doing trapping. Um, what I do is, uh, well, let me show you. What I do is, I'm a farmer, so I go to the feed stores a lot. And every time I go to the feed store, I pick up at least one trap. If I can pick up two, I'll pick up two. Um, this is just a week's worth here. Um, these are $15 a piece where I get all my feed and stuff, so I just pick one up every time we go. Um, and if you do this from like the time right after trapping season's out to all the time the next trapping season's in, you'll have a heck of an acquirement. So. I've got four DPs so far. This is just a week's worth. Um, I guess the the thing I could tell you is, if you do a lot of driving every day, or you go to school and you drive, look along the roads for roadkill. That, I mean, that's, I know that sounds kind of redneck, but if you think about it, I tell people it's just money laying there on the road to be taken. I mean, you're going to be going back and forth every day anyway. It's going to be cold. Just pick it up, put it in the back of your pickup. If you want to, put a bag of ice in it. It doesn't matter. Um... You'll make a lot of money doing it that way. I have, well, this past year I picked up uh, two coyotes, I think like eight or nine coons, countless possum. Just, I mean, that's that's money just sitting there. I mean, nobody's going to take it. It's just going to sit there and rot away. Um, so that's what I do. Um, this stuff here is just... My receipts from all the stuff that I that I buy. Uh, it's just nothing but see like this here. I, Adirondack Outdoor Company. I do buy some. F I did buy my mink boards from there. I did buy some lure from there. I switched back. I've switched companies numerous times just to see price wise. Um, you're just going to have to shop around. I mean, basically, what I could tell you is for the convenience of it, f and is going to be your best bet. Because they get it out the door. I usually get my traps within two to three days of ordering. I mean, I order mine online. You can order them over the phone. Them. There's a great great group of guys down there at the f and um, fur trading post that help you with whatever you need. Uh, just go on their website at www.fntpost.com um, They've got anything you can think of for trapping. 
Um, like I said, you can call them. I think they're open Monday to Friday. I'm not sure. It doesn't tell you that. Anyway, that is the probably the one of the best uh, companies I have found. I do I do order a good bit. Um, I've got I don't have my stretchers in here. I have them up in my first shed, up in the building. Um, I do have some stretchers in here, but not very many. So, and before we get into anything else, I would like to give a, a shout out to, um, uh, hold on just a second. Show you a fella, he's just posted some things on his uh, YouTube page. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce his last name right, I promise you that. It's uh, Heath Gagnon. I, I'm presuming that's what it is, but uh, this is his his page. Um, yeah, he posted he posted uh, some videos today about uh, trapping, trap boiling, wax, trap waxing, and uh, something trapped. So, I want to uh, this thing focus. Does a lot of good fishing videos, a lot of good trapping videos. So, you guys need to go check him out. He does a lot of um, a lot of good trapping videos. Um, I will say that he uh, he will give you any advice that he can when he can. So just give him a give him a check on his page. Give him some subs and some uh, thumbs up. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made some videos. Had a lot going on. I've been doing a lot of farm work around the place. We've been getting more animals here, right and left. So um, I'll give you a pan around in my trophy room, then I'll show you what I've got as far as traps. So we will start over here. Let's see if I just get this tripod on. New tripod, I'm not used to it yet. Uh, flip this around, show you guys here. This is a bird I killed a year ago. 21 pounds, 10 and a half inch beard, inch and a quarter spurs. That Jake over there is the bird I killed this year. The only bird I killed this year, as a matter of fact. Um, this last last two days of season, and he come in with three other Jakes, so we decided we'll take him. This is my second bird from last year. I shot him twice. He had a nine and a half inch beard, inch and three eight spurs, I think it was. Here, a rabbit we shot. My great day there. Got fur. There's my friend with the bird that's directly right here. That one. Uh, just a little nice piece I made there. Pheasant a fella gave me. Oh, scoot around the room here. Here's the big eight point buck I got this year. Really nice. Scored 132 and 3 eighths. Uh, last day of muzzleloader season. That was January 8th. Running the trap line with the muzzleloader walking around with it. And he actually had a broken front left leg, which would be. See, yeah, that leg there. He had uh, a muzzleloader bullet stuck in his leg. He couldn't get up. I guess, I mean, I don't know if that was from earlier in the season or what, but, uh, yeah. And there's my very first squirrel I ever shot. There's a younger fellow. Red fox I bought. Here is a coyote I shot during bow season this year. I actually got less than 10 yards from it in the middle of the dark, walking to a deer stand, so. Let's just say that was a very scary experience. It's a doe I've shot 10 times. Literally shot her ten times. Um, she this let's see this hole here, or her, no, 
the hole that is right there. Uh, somebody in an earlier bow season had shot her with a uh, arrowhead, and uh, she just got badly infected, got caught in that shoulder blade. So she got shot in the neck, uh, yeah, the neck right there, there's a bullet hole there, there, there's a bullet hole there, there, and there's just bullet holes all in her. Um, just a uh, tail collection there. And I'll just give one quick more pan round of the room. My biggest boy of the year. I don't think I'll get one that big. I mean, he's huge. He's huge around here. Sorry about the window. And we will stick you guys back over here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll just st stick you guys right here. pack basket I got this year too. I like it a lot. Alright, and basically what I've got here is this is all my coyote traps and muskrat traps and beaver traps. I got these 330s. I have a lot of old hardware stores around my around my house. Well not I have to drive a good way to get to them, but 12 bucks, 330s. They only had three left. I guess they've had them sitting on the shelves for years. They got a nice thin coat, coat of rust on them. I don't mind that. I actually like that. It makes the dyeing process a lot easier. Um, I can show you what I've done so far to my coyote trap. I've got two different kinds of coyote traps. Um, this is a number two Duke. Um, it's got a, you know, that one doesn't have a night latch on it, but I put cables on them. Because I, where I've trapped, there's a lot of, a lot of smaller, uh, what we call them, shoemaker trees, water maples. So it makes it a lot easier just to throw the cable around the tree and be done. It does work. Uh, they will cut. They will almost cut the tree down with the uh, cable. So just be aware of that if you're going onto somebody's land that doesn't want their trees tore up with a bunch of uh, claw marks and axe marks, you might want to just kind of trap away from the trees because they the trees will get tore up. Just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Um, This is a number, see, I don't even know now, I bought so many, number one and three fourths Duke. I actually think these things work better than number twos. For the simple reason is, these ones already got the four coils installed on them. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Yeah, it's got the, and then I come in. What I'm going to eventually do is come in and night latch all these. I've got a couple coyote traps that are already night latched. I actually like the night latch. I used to not like them at all. Just for the simple fact that um, I just didn't like it. Um, but now I'm getting to the point where I actually do like it. Uh, it makes things a little easier. Uh, let's put all this stuff back in here. I'll show you what I've got as far as coon traps go. Trapping season is a good, good ways away here. It's only June 11th? I'm going to say June 11th. Not sure. Not sure, don't really care. So if I count pale, it's nothing but. Get you guys in here and see what we're doing. These are nothing but, um, oh, I want to say the number one. Yeah, number ones. I've got countless of these. I get these off the F&T. I bought all those at one time. You don't have to do it that way, but I do. Uh, like I said, you don't have to. 
and I, I just choose to. Um, I had the money to do it, so I just went ahead and did it. Uh, so that is what I have as far as, tra as far traps go. Oh, Jesus. Um, I could, sh yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys what I have as far as baits go so far this year. I'm trick uh, trading a lot of things in. I just started using this shellfish essence. Anyway, it's shellfish essence, four ounce. I got this for around six bucks off of FNTs. I know that seems like a lot to pay for shellfish essence, but it's really not. And Adirondack Outdoor Company, I bought these mink gland lure, muskrat gland lure. It looks like I'm about out. I don't like to leave my supply that low. show you guys what to use for your urine. You're probably going to laugh about this, but uh, what I do is I go to the dollar store, a lot of dollar tree, dollar store, Walmart, ought to have these. Uh, it's just empty mustard containers. Fill them up with urine, put a cap on it, throw that in your pack, and all you got to do is just, and you're set and you're done. You can also use spray bottles, it doesn't matter. Uh, fish oil works good in these too. As long as you don't have a bunch of clods in it. If you make your own, you might want to strain it before you put it in this. It might make it come out easier, I don't know. Um, poo, 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 poo. I think I've already showed you guys my urines and stuff I have. I just get the regular red fox urine and I get uh, some coyote urine and then I use my Kalen's uh, red label. I want to say Cat's Brothers is what it is. Cat's Brothers uh, Red Label Predator Bait. Uh, it works good for me. I just put it down to that in the back with some coyote urine on a, a dirt hole. Works great. Um, like I said, I just wanted to give that uh, shout out to Heath. Uh, go and check out his channel. I don't know how to do links yet or else I'd put a link to his channel. But I don't. Um, I will have some new uh, updates coming up was thinking about going to the um, uh, Trappers Convention that they have here in Ohio. Uh, it's above Lima, I think. No, don't quote me on that, but um, I think I think it is in Lima. I might try to go to it this year. I'm not sure. Uh, p -p -p other than food plots are in, looking nice. Gardens are looking nice. I'm going to make a video of them here for too long. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just show you guys these magazines I get. Uh, here's another good company. It's uh, Hoosier's Trap and Supply. Hoosier's Trap and Supply. That one. You can go. I did buy some stuff from them. Wasn't really too impressed on their shipping time. Um, uh, I got countless f and P's magazine. Um, yeah, you just go to... Oh, crap. Go down there. Oh, come on. F and T post. And I need that number there. This, let's see. I might be able to tell you their store hours. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, telephone orders. They do take telephone orders. You can also fill this out in the back of their magazine. The magazines are free. You fill that out and ship it into them and they'll get you what you need. They're very good about helping you out um, as far as advice goes. Just kind of, I guess just call them and see what you need. Um, that's all I could tell you guys as far as that goes. I said, um, I said I'd like to say hi to Heath. Um, I haven't got to talk to him too much. Um, I do like his videos, though. They're very informative. Um, so, All right, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the 
the like button. I may do a subscriber giveaway um, here for too long if I can get enough subscribers. You guys can help me out with that. I will be putting up more videos this summer. I just haven't had the time. Been mowing, brush hogging, whole nine yards. Uh, it's just been freaking busy here this year. I'm going to be putting up hay for too long. Um, a lot of people have already started putting up hay, but our field has not been kept yet. So, uh, food plots are in, feeding the deer. So, stay tuned, guys. Uh, we should have some more uh, action here before too long. We're going to be getting the traps all fixed up. I may take you guys to a store where I call. Uh, I don't know if you guys have these in your area, Rural King. That's where I go to get my traps now. I mean, they're a little more expensive to buy there, but. I may, I may uh, to make a video of me placing an order in FNT too. I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, if you hang with me, I will have plenty of videos coming up this year. Um, planning on expanding the line wicked this year. I'm going all out this year. I've got all the fur shipped off. 150 bucks down the toilet. So hopefully we make that back. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more action for you.